Hi everybody, it's Building aka Aoki, and um, I'm doing another how-to video. Have you ever lost your moving crate, or your house or guild hall ate it on, and you can't find it, or you want you're in a breakout area and you don't know how to move your moving crate to where you're working? Um, it, this video will help you reset where the moving crate is located. Um, you can have it go wherever you want. So um, this video is for you if you've ever wanted to do that. So um, I'm going based on the fact that you've already downloaded the layout editor. If you have not, um, go to eq2designers.com and Jester created this t layout editor for us to use so that we can do, um, um, it, it's just an easier way to line things up or um, tile a big room or whatever it is. Um, it's a, a really cool tool. Tool. I know that it's kind of hard to learn. He does have some videos out there, especially like how to just set it up so you know how to um, save to specific files and then maybe do diffs or whatever, but um, you don't have to know how to do any of that stuff. All you have to do for this resetting your, your moving crate is either go to your, your guild hall door or your ho um, house door and right click on it and do access and it will... Um, Sorry, my mouse is acting up. Um, it'll give you access or access house vault or exit. Do access. It pulls up the housing window. Or, um, you can type slash house in your your um, chat window and it will open it for you as well. So it just opened it again. So um, anyway, um, once you've opened up your housing window, there are some buttons here. Um, and one of them is called save layout. So if you push save layout, um, you can na name the file whatever you want. I'm going to stick with um, the without. So if anyone uses, um, has seen any other videos or whatever, it'll make sense why I'm using the without. And I have a with and temp out. But um, I'm saving it without. You can, you can back up your layout before you even do any of this just in case. So name that whatever you want. So you'll click on save layout, say guild hall, and then click OK and then click it again and then save it again with you can call it moving crate without whatever uh, so I'm gonna do that and I already have the layout editor file or uh, program open so I'm going to tab to that and I'm going to do file open and I'm gonna scroll down now it's already set up for me it automatically knows where the game is installed so if this is your first time um, you can um, navigate down to, um, you know, go here, navigate to where you want. I have it under my games um, drive. And then find where it's installed. So I think it picks, um, um, e like, users and then daybreak game um, company. It could say SOE, I think, Sony Entertainment or SOE something. I don't know, but it just depends upon when you've actually installed the game and if you've like uninstalled and started over or whatever after it became daybreak game so um it's daybreak game company installed games everquest 2 and then all the the layouts when you click this button go to saved underscore house underscore layouts and then you can pick whatever you want i have a ton of dungeons saved here um housing and guild halls but um I'm going to click the without because that's how I saved it. Click open. It opens it up. I have a ton of items in my guild hall. Um, they're not in any order right now. In order to find things easily, you can click on this item name header cell. So if you click that, you have to wait a minute. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it's actually going um, A to Z. Um, there we go. So I can scroll down now to M's and find the moving crate. Too far. Okay. So um, where is it? Do, do, do. Moving crate. So I click on this little cell right here so it highlights the whole row. After I left click on it to highlight, I right click. And my right click button hates me. There we go. Right click and then do create group. And you can name it whatever you want. 
I'm gonna name it moving great move it whatever name it whatever you want um, so I'm gonna click that now we have isolated just the moving crate so that's the only thing that will change in your house or guild hall um, and I f think I forgot to say this you have to have trustee access to your guild hall or our house where you're trying to um, reset your moving crate so where do I want it I'm gonna put it by my door so I go back to the game and type slash loc and it puts it in my chat I can tab back to the layout editor and the first coordinate that it lists um, is the X east, east slash west um, number. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to enter 667.71 because that's what it says here. I can tab to the next field. Now, if, if you're old like me and you've made your font super big so you can read it, um, you can um, have an issue where it wraps and this negative sign is on one line and the number that follows it is on the next one. Make sure you don't miss a negative sign based on how big your chat window is and the font size, um, it like wrapping. So just be very careful when you're looking. So the next number is the Z up down um, number. So mine is negative, oops, negative, um, three five point nine zero, and then I'm gonna tab again, and then, then the next number is the Y north south coordinate. So I'm gonna enter one four eight eight point eight two, um, and then these other fields you don't have to worry about them. Now I'm gonna save the group, and you can scroll to pick um, where the game is installed and the saved house layouts again and then I I'm saving it as temp out you can save it as whatever you want but I'm gonna use temp out so I've saved it I can go back to the game and I can load it now I did a slash loc where I'm standing if I don't want the moving crate to be on top of me I'm just gonna move a little bit before I load the file now I'm gonna I clicked the load layout button and the load layout um, window opens and I'm gonna scroll down and pick temp out. So pick whatever file you named it and click OK. Bam, there's my moving crate. Nothing else should have changed in the guild hall. It's that easy. Um, you, you don't really have to go and learn the layout editor. You just have to follow these steps and you've got it back. Um, hopefully it's useful for you. Um, note that you can you know still move it around or whatever on your own um i'm like i said i'm having issues with my mouse so i can move it because i don't like the exact location or whatever i can move it to wherever after i've reset it so um one thing i have requested let me open the housing window again i've requested that a button be added somewhere here um that you can click and it resets the moving crate to um um the default location, like the very first time you've put an item in a moving crate and you've never done that before in that house or guild hall. I want the button to reset it to that location because I can't find it. It got eaten, whatever. Um, I did in-game feedback and I also um, created a ticket on the third party tool that we're supposed to use to like submit requests and um, also uh, submit bugs. So. Um, if you would like to go vote for that, I have it here. So um, I will also link it in the forum posting that I do. But so you go to the um, day daybreak game um, company. So D G C and then issue tracker dot com, and then um, you you need to look for the E Q two um, dash two two five. Um, ticket and go vote so that they know that they should add a button here so that way you don't even have to download the layout editor you can, if you like just doing everything in the game you'll be able to do that so hopefully at some point they'll be able to put that button in for us I don't think it should be too difficult um, for them to add that but I don't know for sure but hopefully they listen and add it at some point so I will have that in the forum posting um, th thanks for watching this video I hope you found it helpful 
and I will see you in the next um, helpful tip video. Thanks.